Hey everybody, I have an update on the Katherine McBanua retrial. I was watching the Law and Crime channel last week and I saw Jesse Weber's interview with Tara Kwas and Chris DeCost. I found it very interesting that Tara Kwas says there's nothing implicating Katherine in these wiretaps at all. So I'm gonna play Tara Kwas's portion of that interview and I'm also gonna play a portion of Katherine's wiretaps that I find very incriminating and very much tying her to the murder of Dan Markell and I hope that um, you guys can make a decision for yourself. It's called JJ on April 28th, 2016, 1.22 in the afternoon. Thank you guys. Completely different. If Katie was in on this, she would have said, oh my God, they're on to us. Oh right. my God, you need to go and take care of this. Out of the hours and hours and hours of recordings, they have not one statement that directly implicates her. Everything that the, the government asks jurors and viewers and everyone to do is to speculate. But if you look at these recordings, okay. it doesn't go with someone who is in the know. Somebody's harassing me, somebody's harassing your family, and they're putting my name and then our name and that per other person's name. It's getting too detailed. It's somebody that he knows, for sure. Yeah. For sure. He said that the person had, a, like, he's just trying to get him to talk more 